Hey everybody and welcome back to Escogok Mark. One of the things that can happen when we head outside, especially if we're going to do a bit of freestyling, is we can break a tent peg, lose a tent peg, if we're on a multi-day trip, <laughs> especially in ground like this, maybe sometimes you don't find a tent peg in the morning. So I'm going to show you how to make one off the land really quickly. And just like in our button video, wood choices is very important. The rule of thumb in the forest is possibly the best one to use. So you want to find a piece of spruce like this or a branch of this particular thickness of your thumb. So always remember, if it's thumb size, it's a strong size. Thumb and up is always the best. Then we're going to take a look and we're looking for a section, especially when working with spruce, like we said, between here. And about as long as our forearm. So we can measure it up there. And we're looking at about this length here. So I'm going to take this piece here to start making our tent stake. And this is good dry seasoned wood that we can hammer on. So first things first, we're going to round off the edge of this. I put a spike on the spike that we're going to drive into the ground. The mistake that most people make is they want a round spike on the end. A round spike is not what you want because when you put a round spike into the ground, like a fence post, it's going to go straight down. So what you want is a V-shaped wedge. Very easily and quickly done using a chest lever. You can take off big chunks of material. Alternatively, you can use your you can use your axe for this, but again, it's super quick. The chest lever is a great technique for taking off huge chunks of material. Simply, carefully put a spike on your edge, because that stops the grain splitting out, which is not what you want to do with your tent stake. So there you go, very quickly, very easily, that's your spike. And the reason why we use this spike instead of a rounded one is when you put this in the ground at a 45 degree angle, because of this shape, it wants to bite in and travel at the 45 degrees. So this will add a lot more tension. So the next thing we're gonna do is add our notch. So following on from our spike in the bottom, we are gonna follow one of the flat sides, whichever that may be, I see there's a bit of a knot here, so I'm going to come over here and we're going to create our seven notch. A very safe notch. I'm going to come down again, rule of thumb, build a thumb's width from the top and put a stop knot in. And basically, this is why I'm doing this on a stump. It is nice and safe and with a rocking motion, I'm just going to cut in. And then once I have my cut in, nice and safe, I'm going to head up towards that stop. You can see this is why I didn't want to run into that side with the knot. Because it just makes life a bit hard. So I'm simply going to keep shaving and rocking. And you can make this just under halfway. You don't want to go too far over the end grain. But then you start getting this lovely angular notch. And you can tidy that up as you go. So now you can see our tent stake is starting to come together. And we're just going to do the final, but also one of the most important touches. So now that you have your spike and your seven notch, wood fibers run like straw along the length of the timber. So the last thing you want to do, you can imagine now, if you start hitting the top of this, you don't want this to split out and pop off. That's why we don't go too deep into the side here. But also a little trick, just like we did on the bottom here, we're going to shave the top very easily. Just hold your knife nice and steady. And we're just going to round the top off. You can see this is some nice timber selection. It's nice and dry, not too many knots. The trick with bushcraft or anything to do with bushcraft is the pre-game. Anytime I, you hit a problem doing bushcraft, chances are it's because you missed something at the start. So because of good wood choice and wood selection, this tent stake is super simple and easy to make. So now the top is rounded off and you can round that off a little more if you wished. But now when you strike down on it using your mallet, you're not going to split any of these timbers out. And that is a really quick really easy tent stake and also ultra light for your travels.